Brit. You're listening to one of the best internet radio stations around. Random Man and Donna on the Yankee and the Brit Show. Ba, 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 ba. Kyle Daigle, and I called him Grandpa. Excuse me. Well, you whip it uh, out. I did. Hi. What's going on, everybody? Randy's munching like on the biggest burger the... I've ever seen in now, my life. That's a ham. That's how you make a hamburger. A hamburger. No, that's a hamburger. That thing is like two inches thick and about six inches across. That's a hamburger. Not, oh, those, not even your dick's that's that big. Fucking, uh, that's a, huh. almost a pound of hamburger right there. <laughs> wow. Because that's a five pound thing. I just cut it into five pieces. it's on your lips. You just had one Years too. Years on the hips. You what? just had one too. I know. <laughs> I'm going to have an even fatter ass after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't tell me that's not worth it. That's a hell of a hamburger. Oh, and the seasoning. Oh. I season them up, make it taste <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Ain't no McDonald's burger in his house, baby. Mm-mm. So how's everybody? No, no, no. Hi, Brenda. How are you, girl? Brenda the Blender is in the chat room. She is, and Dan, Dan Conley. Conley. He's yes. okay. I was okay, he says. How are you? Mr. How are you? Chieko Chieko is about to become a granddad. He is. Congratulations, Mr. John. Silji is in the chat room, the lady without the hat, as I see The Queen the of Norway, as I know her. The Queen of Norway. Your the queen of, Majesty. The Queen of Green Skies. The Queen of Green Skies. Nickers is in the chat room, too. The Dave the Brat Summers is in the chat Nick, room. Nick, buddy, how are you? Nice to see you a couple nights in a row, man. Cool. Yes, it is, isn't it? Did he, he went on a trip, right? Um, no. It was a long time ago. Oh, it was? Are you about the towel head photo? Egypt. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I think oh, it was hell. before I came here. See how... Oh, there's Dave. Look, there's Dave. See how far Dave. behind I am with everything. Mr. Dave. Hey, look, the beautiful, beautiful Cora has just braced us with her presence. Cora! Oh, hello. hello, beautiful Cora. Hello, Cora. How are you, love? Yeah, nice to see you guys here. Everybody else tuned in. Thank you very much. Nice to hear you. Keep spreading the word, man. Uh, yeah, appreciate you sharing, sharing the page. page. Stop <coughs> saying the same things as me. What are you talking like me? me for? Stop. Write your own words. Speak your own words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's all trying right, to then. go all British on me. Hey. Hey. You're doing that voice oh. again. Hey. Now hey. what is it? Come on. Oh, she's coming at me with the scissors. Oh, my move, God. Here she comes. Move your burger out of the way. You've got, like, four heads. Why? Is it going to... F- that big, it's going to fly You've got four beard heads. All right. right cut them. Mm. Mm. Oh, early. <laughs> <laughs> Will you hold still? Stop, I can't help it. Quit what coming you, at me with those things. What are you pulling away from? All right, go on, then. I'm not that much of a butcher. That's your there opinion. There you go, see? That How was it. What was that? I don't know, but i got to look at my hamburger now. It's probably it's got like, a beard like, like mine. One of, those, one of those kids, no, don't bring it near me. No. And then he's like, have you done it? You're yeah, creepy. Ago. You scare me the way you handle scissors and knives and shit around here. <laughs> she uses an X-Acto knife when we're... Working on the vinyl stuff, and she uses the wrong end. She's got the sharp end in her hand. I don't quite get that. She's still not a queen as she knows it. Well, your majesty. My I majesty. do believe you've got that wrong, and you'll find that I do see you as a queen. I bow. There. She is the queen of Norway. Yeah, not enough of that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, put a song on. Oh, she, look, look. Look at what? She's the queen of Norway. With a hat. Oh, a new picture. Yes. Let's see what we got here then. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful scenery. Wow. Mrs. Dave that. is in the chat room. Look, look, it's Mrs. Dave. Hello, Mrs. Dave. You should play. You should play back at Mama's for Mrs. Dave. I will not play that shit. Seeing as we're not tormented her no. with that music for not a long, 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 long not time. Not going to do it. Meanwhile, back at Mama. But I tell you what, I will play for Mrs. Dave. What will you play for Mrs. Dave? A song Dave? that I know that she likes. That is an independent song, independent artist song. <sighs> well, then what am I going to do? You will have to play. You'll have to sing her a little song. I'm not singing a song. What are you going to sing for I her? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you tell me. Oh, look at her. She's still banging on about that. Sil Jacko in the chat room. Who? Sil Jacko in the chat room. She's still banging on about that. I don't need no wireless power. <laughs> 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 oh. 
Oh, well, well somebody she must got, have buy two she of got, them, Can you believe I got gotten on a April Fool's Day prank? Oh, Maybe that's mom. what Mr Bloody Chieko's doing in the chat room. Maybe he's pranking us, mm. pretending he's about to become a grandpapa again. Could be, but that's not something to play funny with. That's pretty serious stuff. What the hell is that now? Oh, that's a stupid, stupid phone. Okay. Oh, we have, Uh-oh. check this out, we have some Tyler Hammond songs. Now, this guy is going to be on the show on the 5th of May, and the songs have just come through right now. <laughs> Tyler Hammond, May And the 5th. songs have come through the email from Kelly Lee Phillips. The reason I say this out loud is because we only, only ever get the best music from Kelly Lee Phillips. She has not sent us no dogs. And you guys get no, to hear no, a lot no, of this no, stuff no. before anybody else does. Do you realize that? Yes. Have you really thought about that, that you get to hear a lot of this music that nobody else has heard before? I mean, it may be out there on YouTube and all that, but you we know, sh- people don't know it's there. So we're playing it, Ooh, some of it for the first time. Maybe, maybe we'll play this one for Dave. Now what? Let me plug in the old dog and bone. Where's the wire? Right we in. will play this Tyler Hammond song right now. And if you like him, tune in on the 5th of May. All right. I hope this doesn't hurt, Tyler. I'm screwing right up your ass. There we go. <laughs> All right, go ahead, then. Tyler Hammond, Hold brand on. new. Don't press play. Don't. Don't move a muscle, Maui. Fetching attachment? It's fetching the attachment from the email. Here, boy. Get it. Go get it. Mr. Chieko said it's real. It's no prank. It's no It's no thingy day prank. Very good. Ooh, okay, here we go. Take a Sip by Tyler Hammond. That's a Dave song. It's a Dave song, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so Will it play you're supposed today, to or? make noise. It's Ooh. not playing. Okay, what's going on? I don't know, but it's not playing. Is yes, it, it is. It is. It's moving. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it this way. Hang on. Hold on to your underpants, Mister Dave. We will have this. Oh, it's ready to play already. <laughs> <laughs> Did I happen to mention that Kelly Lee Phillips only ever sends us the best? Tyler Hammond joining us 5th of May. You want to hear more? You're going to have to tune in. That's going places. Yes, yes. Wow. That's a whole song right there. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for letting us get after that one. Laura White in the chatteroo. Hello, Laura. Good evening. The birthday girl. She's not the birthday girl anymore. That oh, was I see. So once it, once, it, once it hits midnight, you're done, right? Yeah, right. you're gone. You're out of here. All right. Well, I dread my midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and he's already had his birthday present early. Yeah. Don't even ask how that happened. What time is it here? It's, uh, where are we at here? 7.30? So... Yes, yeah, 7.33. So what, four hours? Four and a half hours? My, my 24 hours starts? Yeah, just a few more hours. And then you're going to drop then... the bomb on me tomorrow night at midnight. You are out of here. You're done. You're an old fuck. <laughs> Go away. We don't want your kind anymore. I see how that works. Knob. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll move on here with some more music. How about some Anne Marie Paserno, Donna Joe, and Benny Pitzinger and that bonfire? What's all this yeehaw business on a Saturday night? It should be about scones and crumpets and clotted cream, but instead, you're making me scream. Plus, by the way. Hey, guys and gals. <laughs> that song by Sean Kennedy, Haunted, that we played. Not this one, the one before. Right. Absolutely bloody awesome. It is. It is. It is a cool tune. But Kyle Borgall's work, work is just... Yeah, he's kicking ass right now. I know, it rocks. That's what a about, good tune. What about some of this Sean Michael Perry? What about some of that Sean Michael Perry? I think you better Perry? get some on. I think we better get after that you know, shit before we're doing somebody awesomeness, kicks our ass. If we're doing absolute awesomeness on this show, you better press that play button. Got it. Wanted Sean Michael Perry. Yankee and a Brit. Sunday, Independent Day. Yes, sir. Love that independent music. Real music, man. None of that Nashville crap. Here's a new one from Anne Marie Paserno, and it's called Closer. Yankee and Britney, RTM Radio Network, Independent Sunday Night. What you got there, wife? Hey, Sean Kennedy, we was just playing his music, which was the Haunted song. He has just sent us a little sample oh, of right? what is coming soon. Wow, let's have well, a go. I'm going to click it. It's not very long, but uh, you guys are going to love it. Cool. Billy Lord, Netflix and chill. Yankee and Britney. 
Independence Sunday night. How's everybody doing? Nice to see you guys here hanging out with us. Hope you're enjoying the tunes. It's all independent artists. If you're hanging out, please put it away. We don't want to see you all hanging out in the chat room. Don't get it caught in your zipper. Dave, put it away. Don't get it caught again. (laughs) Ouch. Don't make me say it again. That'll leave a mark. That's for sure. So how's everybody been? Good weekend. Great music. We've had a good time all weekend, man. It's been great. Nice having you guys tune in, of course. And make sure you share the page. Spread it around a little bit. Tell your friends. They don't know what the hell they're missing, man. Tell the whole world and their dog. Who? Tell the whole world and their dog. And their dog? And their dog. Dogs make don't sure listen dogs to our show, do they? Too. Yeah, maybe they're the only ones that listen. Mm. <laughs> I wonder sometimes. <laughs> I'm only serious. You can count on that. So I see you guys are being pretty quiet in the chat room tonight. Are you all run down? I know, scoffing chocolate eggs today. Probably the weather. What's the weather doing up in Ohio today? I didn't even look. Is it nasty? Is it cold? Dan, you know? Who cares? Because we are in the sun. Brenda would know. She lives right there on the lake. She gets all the good stuff. Of course, Dan's not that far away from the lake, really. I don't know if that, where Dan lives, if that neck of the woods over there gets lake effect snow like uh, like we did in Ashtabula and Geneva, Conneaut, all the way into Erie and Buffalo up through that. Because that end of the lake, everything comes out of the north Blender, west and goes right down to the northeast and just friggin' destroys everything. Blender the Brenda said it's cold. Yeah, and Dan said it's spitting snow. <laughs> oh, and Dave says he's going to get a couple of inches tonight. You are, Mrs. Dave is. <laughs> Brenda, you can keep it, Dan. I know, I agree. Ugh. Man. <clears throat> On our little whirlwind tour... Last week when we run through Ohio for five minutes. Uh, yeah, we went to bed and then we woke up with snow. I know. We spent the one night there in, uh, well, the first night in Ohio after we got into Dodge. Well, we we got to Ohio. We went right to Mr. Dave's and dropped the sign off. And how's the sign, Dave? Does it look all right? I hope that's, uh, I didn't even think to ask him. And uh, he may not even have been there to see it yet. But anyways, uh, we went and spent the night in uh Drag City over there, um, Norwalk, and went to bed, and it was kind of chilly. And it's like, fuck, we need to go back to Texas. Oh, come on, Blendy, you're only in April. And then it freaking woke up in the middle of the night or early in the morning about 6 o'clock, and it was freaking like three inches of snow all over everything. Dave said Yeah, this is what I came for. Thank you. Good. I'm glad we finally got that squared away. It was worth the trip then. Yeah, really. It was. I got to see Keith. That was the main thing, you know. Yeah. I went to see a good friend of mine. I've been friends with him for 40-some years. And I just, he had a heart attack a year or two ago. And I just wanted to get back and see him one more time in case I don't go back to Ohio. I plan on it, but that doesn't mean it'll happen, you know, before something happens. And I've had, uh, I guess I was getting the guilt real bad because I've had four or five friends that have passed away, you know, close friends. that Then they're all, they're all gone. And, uh, you know, a couple of them I was out trucking, and uh, I guess I was living in Nashville or something at the time. One of them died. I mean, I've been all, you know, out living my life, doing things, and uh, just never got back to see them, and then they were gone. And that sucks, and I made, I swore it wasn't going to happen this time, so I made sure I went back just to hang out with them for a little bit. wasn't long, though, but, you know, like Donna said, it worked out because we got Mr. Davis signed, which is something we were worried to death about, and... Uh, because we, we didn't want to mail it, but it was such a big trip to drive there. I know. Then we... Uh, it what now? I'm sorry. I said we didn't want to mail it because of the last time. Oh, fuck them assholes. And we didn't want to... And we actually mailed some stuff to uh, Houston. Houston. Where is it? Houston. And... Houston? Uh, Houston. 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 And UPS absolutely messed them up too. So we were just like, we don't know what to do with it. So we were just like, shall we go? And we literally decided pretty much overnight... Um, we knew we didn't have much time to do anything, so we just said, fuck it, we're just going to go. And that's exactly what we did. <laughs> I know. And it was like, you know, we thought about it, and like the next day we did it. We It just hit us, slapped us in the cocksuckers. It's like, okay, you got to go do this, go do it now. So, boom. Next, next morning we got up and left. So, you know, and thank God Mom and Pop are here, and they were all right while we are gone, and Alfred was okay, and boy, did he freak out when we came back. Look at who's back, hey! <laughs> Alfred wasn't too brilliant, actually. He didn't eat the whole time that we were away, um, which was another thing that was kind of worrying us. We didn't want to be away too long because of that. Um, so, yeah, there was just lots of reasons why we had to sort of rush back and orders, you know, orders, orders, orders were piling in already. <laughs> I know. Um, so, can you answer, Dave? Where is Houston? 
Houston. Oh, she's on. She's in the ground. I think. I think she's uh, six foot under. Oh yeah, she's a crackhead. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> We don't see no crack no more. Nappy haired hoe. No crack's not in the air anymore. <laughs> Do you know who Don Imus is, Dan? He was the one that said that nappy haired hoe thing and got his ass busted for that and needless to say disappeared from radio after that. What are you talking about? Nappy haired hoe. You'd have to look it up, Don Imus. He was a big time radio get onto jock, that? so he was. Huh? How did we get onto that? Because I was talking about nappy haired hoe. If you'd pay attention to what the hell I'm oh. saying over here, you'd know. All right. I just thought it was something to do with Dan's uh, dance post. You know, I that so. Don Imus too. I was never impressed with him. He was always such an asshole. I thought it I mean that's just my opinion, but I thought he was an asshole. But then they got him on T V and, you know, on radio at the same time they simulcast the show. An and, stuff. Asshole after that. and it's just like Donna says, What the fuck wants to sit there and watch him fucking playing music and shit? And then he sits there twiddling his thumbs and Peeling his penis skin back just because he's got nothing to fucking do while they're on air. You know, I just don't see that shit. Yeah, I, I hate it. those. Uh, I hate those show, those radio shows where they do it via video. You know, if you guys were to really watch what we do over here, especially on a Saturday night when we have a guest, you know, Randy, you'll see him clipping his fingernails. In fact, you hear it every week because he can't do it when we've not got a guest on. He has to tr- clip his fingernails while we've got a guest on. That's right. And he, you'll see him tapping his fag upside down. And it sounds uh, a little something like... All the like, little things that we do. It sounds, it sounds a little like this. <laughs> but anyway, I think there's nothing quite so boring as what is what actually is loud. watching it. I would rather imagine all the stupid shit that's going on. I didn't realize it was that loud. Holy crap. Yes! Are you twat? <laughs> And then they that sh- just landed in my coffee. And then they shoot all over the place. I know, he just, he just, my, I just had a fingernail in my coffee. Well, watch it, it'll scratch Fish your throat. Fish it out now. <laughs> Fish it out my coffee now. <laughs> Don't choke on it, darling. Uh, uh, oh, he just choked asshole. on his own fingernail. <clears throat> <clears throat> I did choke on it. <laughs> I didn't realize there was anything in the cup that felt empty. <laughs> Ugh. I told you it landed in my coffee. Ugh. Dan wants to watch me clip my nails. He says I'd love that. Oh my gosh, you are really weird, Dan. You know, we we we've watched a few shows. <laughs> we've watched a few shows, and there's one guy we could see up his nose. We could water. see his nose hair. We could see he had a big bogey up his up his left nostril that really needed to come out. And then another guy, you know, he had the camera pointing down on his head, and. um all we could see was the top of his baseball cap. <laughs> and he had this big holy shirt on, you know, uh, like he, he was just, it, the, the shirt was just hanging off him. There were big holes all over it. Um, I was like thinking, you go on the camera looking like that. One of these days we'll take a video of the show and then we'll cut out all the stuff. Donna doesn't like to be on camera like that. I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate so, it. So, you know. To sing and all that stuff is one thing, but just, anyways, we'll uh, we'll do a whole video. We'll cut out all the crap Donna doesn't like, which basically will probably be me. <laughs> you'll probably, yeah, you'll probably see about 30 seconds. <clears throat> and then you'll see how boring it is, and you'll see why we don't do it, because, you know, I mean, I don't want to be like everybody else. I can't stand that shit. Most of them babble on about the friggin' Trump and all this stupid shit, and all we want to do is just play music and have a laugh. That's all we care about. And we'll make sure you guys enjoy the music, which you do. I mean, look how you guys have, almost all of you have fallen in love with Donna Joe and, and 50%, maybe more, 60, 70% of the, the independent artists we come on here. You know, you guys request these tunes. That's why we do it. And that's why I've always done it, is the music, nothing else. I always hated being on regular radio way back when and having to do the news and do all this shit that I don't even care about. And I don't, you know, if it... I just hate that shit. So we just do this because we enjoy it. You know, we pay the bill. It doesn't cost anybody anything other than to tune in and, uh, you know, spread the word around that uh, you want good music, this is the place to go. There's no bullshit, no politics. Uh, we M&Ms, like maybe. M&Ms, we don't take no shit. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. But you'll probably not see me do a video, a uh, uh, radio show Oh, you'll be in it a little video. bit. You'll have to be in it, it a little bit. It'll probably be Randy on his own. That's it. But basically... Uh, you know, that's why we do all that stuff. Here's what Donna's talking about. Brad James. Gotta love that guy, man. He is such a cool dude, too. He uh, 
He was over here in the studio live with us. He was our first guest we ever had. And uh, just had to mention that because I really like the guy. He's a nice guy. Great guy. Good family man. Truck driver. The whole nine yards. Really cool dude. And uh, him and Kevin Cornholio Young and uh, his wife Shannon and Brad and you and me, right? That's who was here? Yeah. Yeah. We had such a good time, man. These guys are funny as shit. What a riot that was. But uh, Brad, very cool. Man, you'd like that guy. And his singing is great, too. It really is. I mean, a lot of karaoke stuff, but... Uh, Awesome, awesome. He's gone quite a ways, too. Really proud of that guy. I'd like to get him back on the show here one day soon. We keep uh, thinking about it and just haven't got around to it. Anyways, just thought I'd throw that out there at you. We're live in three, two, one. Hit it! Ah, it's our man, Benny Pitzinger. One stormy night, I was awoke from a deep and peaceful sleep. My old radio hadn't worked in years. I suddenly began to speak. The voice came through, clear as a bell. I wrote down every word, so don't tell me that I'm crazy. I know just what I heard. A mighty voice said, Ben, your songs are very special things. For each time someone plays your tunes, an angel gets their wings. Buffalo wings, that is. Deep fried. Well, music calms the savage beast, heals the troubled soul. But my music does much more than this. I want you all to know. When my songs are heard, right then occurs a most miraculous thing. See, every time my songs are played, an angel gets their wings with blue cheese and celery. Now, I'll admit that I was baffled, even just a little scared. That radio been busted for now on 15 years. But there it was a saying, just as plain as could be said. That when they play a song of mine, an angel will be fed. So when you hear my music, know that somewhere up above, an angel's rolling up their sleeves and getting them some grub. Chicken wings. Spicy, man, spicy. Well, music calms a savage beast, heals a troubled soul. But my music does much more than this. Yes, I believe it's so. When my songs are heard, right then occurs a most miraculous thing. See, every time my songs are played, an angel gets their wings. With onion rings. And a wet napkin. So call your local DJ and request my songs a bunch. Cause every time they play them, an angel gets their lunch. And each time that you hear them, turn it up a little bit. Cause the louder that the music plays, the hotter them wings get. And not only when they play my tunes does a plate of wings appear. Each time you buy my CD, an angel gets a beer. A tall boy. As cold as ice. Not the cheap stuff either. No, none of that malt liquor. The Brits, the place to be. Radio living is the life for me. Airwaves spreading out so far and wide. Keep your FM, just give me that internet side. Online is where I'd rather stay. I've got a lot of music to play. I just adore a Yankee view. Darling, I love you, but give me a show to do. The Chap. 
The Brats. On air. That's fair. You are my wife. Goodbye, British life. The Yankee and the Brit on air.